Welcome to the 20th and final part of the Intermediate Revit course, where we're going to start finishing this up by adding our views to sheets to close off this intermediate course. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there. So the last thing I want to touch on is adding all of our views to sheets. At the moment, we've got a whole lot of floor plans and sections and elevations and 3D views, but we don't have anywhere to print that from. In an architectural drawing set, you'll have sheets and you have different sheets for different drawings. This is where you start laying out and presenting your views and your drawings in a way that is then able to be read by a client or by your teachers. Usually you want to start creating sheets pretty early on in the design or in the modeling process. So to create a new sheet, what you need to do is come over to the project browser, locate where the sheets are, right click where it says sheets and click on new sheet. Now usually you'll be given a few different title blocks that you can choose from or you can create and load in your own. I'm just gonna use the A0 metric landscape title block. And by loading this in, what you'll see is that our sheet now has a template to work off of. From here, what we can do is go through all of our views in the project browser and start to place them onto different sheets and start to organize our drawings in a way that is manageable. So let's say we want the ground floor plan to be on this sheet. The very simple way to do that is by dragging it onto the sheet. And you're gonna see that this is <laughs> a bit too large for the sheet and that's because the floor plan hasn't been properly managed yet for this type of sheet. We haven't considered the scale of the view or what's being shown on this floor plan or the hierarchy of the floor plan. Really at the moment, it's just a mess because that's the way we've been modeling up so far. But because we wanna present this now, now we need to start thinking about all of those things and we need to start making this look really good. And that's what the whole next course is gonna be about. It's gonna be about how we then start to create documentation sets and sketch design sets and create schedules and legends of door and windows and all of this good stuff, which is very, very essential when it comes to the real world of documenting and designing in Revit. But for the moment, usually for your university projects, it's simple enough just to drop your sheets or drop your views onto sheets and then make them look nice and so very basically, that's what we're doing in this lesson. But if you wanna learn a lot more about presentation inside of Revit and the actual ins and outs of what it's like in a professional practice using Revit, that's what I'm going to be doing in the advanced Revit course, which is going to be my next project that I'll be working on over the next couple of months. So all I'm saying is stay tuned for that. But once you've got your view onto a sheet, what you can do is double click on that view. And if you come down to the properties tab or the properties bar, you can click on crop view. And at the moment, this isn't going to do anything because we need to adjust the crop region. So if I tick that on to be visible, you now see this square around the view. So if we click on that, you can see that you can drag this in so I'm gonna drag this in to just cover the floor plan, which you can see there. It's gonna drag this in on all four sides and make this a lot, lot smaller. So essentially there's our floor plan at the moment. And you're gonna see that this raster image is still behind it, which we no longer need. I'm just gonna hide that in the view as well as the one behind that as well. We no longer need that. And if we turn off the crop region now, we've got our floor plan here. And again, it doesn't look like it's at the right scale. One or two reasons why that is. The first reason is because the sheet size is too big for the view. The view is at a scale of 1 to 100, and you can check that down here. And that's the second reason. If this floor plan was at 1 to 50, it would fit quite nicely on this sheet. As you can see there, that is now at a scale of 1 to 50. However, if we wanted to show this on an A1 sheet, which is quite common in the industry, or an A3 sheet, then we would reduce that scale. On an A1 sheet, this is more than likely going to be at a scale of 1 to 100. And that's determined by how that will fit on this sheet. So it may take a bit of playing around with the sheet size and the scale of the drawings before throwing all of your drawings onto sheets. So at a scale of 1 to 50, this looks good on an A0 sheet. You can see that we've got a very basic but automatically generated floor plan. 
And now we've got a base point for which we can start building this up and making it look really good and displaying the information that we need it to display. And this is the first sheet of the set. And if we click on the drop down here, you can see that this is A102, which is the sheet number. And that is automatically placed in this title block. So the title block contains a lot of information that is parametric. If we wanted to drop the site plan onto this sheet above, which I created by going new sheet, A0 sheet, then we can come over to where the site plan is in the project browser and drop that on as well. And again, this is going to need some moving around and a bit of love, which is what we will look at in the next course. So that's how you place views on sheets. That was a very basic lesson. Thank you so much for following through the entire intermediate course. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I made it quite a pleasant experience of learning this difficult and complex software. And until next time, take care. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.